What up? Uh, what we're learning today is the distance formula. All right. To tell you what the distance formula is, it's essentially exactly what it sounds like. It finds the distance of two points. Okay. It finds the length from one place to another. All right. Distance formula. Write this down in your paper so you have it. Okay. D equals square root x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. Okay? If you don't have that written down, write it down because you need it. Okay? That's the distance formula. That'll find your coordinates from two points, okay? Let's say our points are 6, 3, and 12, negative 2. We're finding the distance from this point A to point B. We want to find how far it is from this point on our coordinate plane, on our graph, to this point right here. All right. First step is we label our stuff. That makes it so much easier to work our problem. We've got our x1 and our y1, because this is our 1, and this will be our 2. And then we've got our x2 and our y2. Okay, so write that down, label it. Pause it if you have to. You can't go this fast, okay? Now, pretty much all we're doing is plugging those into there and working it. That's it. All right? So, I'm going to erase this and fix it up. All right, we had to readjust things so that we could just show you more clearly how it works its way down. Okay? First thing we do is we labeled our stuff already. So now all we're doing is we're taking this stuff out, putting our numbers in. All right? Start with our x1, 6, minus sign, x2, which is 12. Bring that, squared, plus sign, parentheses, y1 is 3, minus y2, which is negative 2, squared. All right, now, once you've done this, you can plug all that into your calculator, and you'll get your answer, okay? But we're going to work it out for the purposes of you having it. And also on open responses, you have to show your work. You have to show all these steps, whether you can do it in the calculator or not. So let's keep working it out. All right, first of all, what do we know 3 minus negative 2 is? Oh, good job. When you minus a negative, it turns into a positive. Man, you guys are so smart. I'm so proud of you. All right, so it's a positive. All right, because two negatives make a positive. Two wrongs make a right in math. Alright? So, we keep going. 6 minus 12 is negative 6, still squared, plus 3 plus 2 is 5 squared. Alright? Now, this is where a lot of people mess up when they work it out in their calculator. What a lot of people will do is type negative 6 squared in their calculator. Just go negative 6 squared. Guess what? Your answer is going to be negative 36. That's wrong. That's the reason it does that is that is squaring your 6 and then putting the negative on later. Okay? So you get the wrong answer. So when you put this in your calculator, make sure you put parentheses negative 6 parentheses squared. That's how you should put it in your calculator. And you will get the correct answer, which is positive 36 plus 5 squared, which is 25. Right? At this point in your, in your work, after you've squared everything, you should not have any negative signs at all. If you do, you messed up somewhere. Okay, we do our next step, which we add those. We would get 26, or I'm sorry, 36 plus 25, which is 61, I believe. Which sometimes they want you to leave that as the answer, but for the cases of this, we would find out what that answer is which the square root of 61 is probably somewhere around 7 point something. Crap bag. 8. 7.8. That's what it would be. We would say it's 7.8. Alright, and that would be our answer. Actually, we would put this little squiggly line because it's not going to be an exact number. So that means about 7.8. So we know the distance from A to B is 7.8 whatever we got. All right, lovely. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen.
you're going to get to do the distance formula all on your own. So you're going to find the distance from point T to point V. All right, so they're going to pop up on the screen here in a second. Just pause the screen, work it out, and then we'll work it together. Make sure you did it correct. All right, so here we go. All right, hopefully you worked it out. Hopefully you got the correct answer. If not, then uh, I'm going to come to your house and steal all your clothes, okay? So, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. That's creepy and weird, okay? So, first thing we do is we label our stuff. We got X1, Y1, X2, and Y2. In case you noticed earlier, I screwed that up. Fantastical, okay? So, we're finding the distance. We do our square root sign. Parentheses, x1 is 7 minus x2, which is negative 9. Close your parentheses, squared, plus y1, which is 13, minus y2, which is negative 3, squared. First thing we're going to change, when you minus a negative, turns into a positive. Minus a negative, turns into a positive. All right, keep going. Square root sign. 7 plus 9, 16 squared, plus 13 plus 3, which is 16 squared. 16 squared is 256. 256. And we know that one's going to be 256 as well. We add those together, we get 512. And then the square root of 512 is? 22.6. Come again? 22.6. 22.6. It's about 22.6. We rounded it. All right? Hopefully you got that answer. And then all your wildest dreams come true.